another block. I was in the background. I'm cycling. Uh, right now, I'm currently working a lot on my on my fitness, on my stamina. I mean, I try to uh, go running at least every other day, and then in the days in between, I want to cycle. And as well as I go to the gym for just strength training, but this is not really important, man. This does not really train my stamina as much as biking or uh, running because I want to be like you know when I have good stamina I want to I want to run uh, I've run a marathon in the past about four weeks ago and I ran that marathon with only four and a half weeks training so <laughs> even though it was quite hard as you can imagine with only four and a half weeks training I still did it and I actually want to pursue that path a bit like doing those kind of things running a marathon and even in the future I might even do an Ironman no, I don't know maybe it's just, just me I'm not gonna do it but I want to be fit you know and I have a, a run of 15 kilometers again with hills in uh, on the 17th of November so I'm kind of training for that as well and I, of course I can't run every day maybe I want to get to that point eventually but in the meantime, I'll just do cycling. It's really increased my stamina as well. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys to the office that I hire, that I rent with two other guys. And uh, who knows what we might do today. We might encounter. So we're at the office right now. Here's my bike. <laughs> Here's uh, the Giz Giz, Gizfos. He's an amazing talent. He's uh, He's like a color grading god, <laughs> as people might say. But uh, yeah, I gotta eat a lot of calories because I'm, I'm losing. I'm losing weight. I want to gain a bit. If I want to go camping and shit, I need to have some more weight. So I'm gonna eat some bread. I'm here at the Stoic Garden. We once called it. We started calling it the Stoic Garden, or we got the garden. This is a garden. Or more an abandoned piece of land near the office that's the building of the office right there and we decided just to ask if we could use it to make a garden well <laughs> right now it's not looking too good it's more or less looking like how we found it with the overgrown grass and with a pond as we did make that pond though although there's plastic inside but hey you can't Every, uh, you can't uh, have everything plastic free at least well it was not my project it was not my idea and so if someone else wants to use plastic I'm not gonna pressure him into not doing it um yeah what else is there oh we got some leftover bell pepper that is probably not go gonna grow and um, we had the ambitious plan to lay cardboard everywhere here and then put soil on top of that to prevent the weeds from growing and to have a garden as some would say but it didn't really work out as you can see it's just now overgrown cardboard but i do want to i do want to do something with this garden i do want to see if i can make it come back to life like for example this part i might be able to remove the cardboard maybe plow the soil or something under there so that i have usable soil which would be nice i'm thinking about doing that that would be cool because then we actually ha would have a garden just mowing here of course this is the fucking basic just a bit of mowing a bit of cutting the overgrown brambles that kind of stuff would make it into a better garden well, we tried to do it at once or twice in the summer. But yeah, we just didn't keep up with it. And that's what happens when you didn't, when you're not keeping up with it. It becomes overgrown again. It's like nature takes over. In a way, it's beautiful, but I do want to do something with this garden. Now that I'm switching paths, now that I'm more going to focus more on nature, more on gardening, I do want to do something with it. So 
I'm enjoying my food right now, eating some calories because I need those calories. Like I said before, I'm gonna do some running, some biking, and I wanna do some camping as well in the wild, some surviving, some surviving, I must say, and uh, well, I need that calories. <laughs> So here I am, walking with some strawberry plants. I just uh, mowed the whole stoic garden, as you call it. And uh, yeah, I, I wanna do some more with it. Let's see, there's still a lot of brambles hanging all over the place. So I might get like some sort of cutting material to, to well, to cut it off. And maybe I want to make the soil more fertile, but I don't want to spend any money. So if you have any tips on how to do it, they're all welcome, you know. I just want it to be as cheap as possible. I mean, I could ask my neighbor for some more horse manure, but I don't want to do that. Since I've already taken a lot and second point is that I won't, don't want to take a whole fucking 14 wheelbarrows of manure here at my office so i want to keep it a bit low-key maybe and uh, i want to make it fertile let me know i'm going to plant these probably in the pot first maybe i'll plant them eventually in the ground but we'll see we'll see let me show you how the garden looks now that i've mowed it a bit the grass was really wet so you see slip marks everywhere but as we enter, we come with the fake word. I think this is called fake wood or some other word. I don't know, but it's good for the bees. So I, I, uh, I let it here, and it's looking like this. Like you see here, these brambles coming all over the place. I need to cut that off. But man, I've mowed a nice path to the garden. Here we are, the garden. A little bit of mowing done. I mean, it's looking good. It's looking good, man. <laughs> like you see those marks everywhere. It's gonna dry up. It's gonna grow grass or something. But uh, yeah, that's basically it, man. And so I want to do something with this probably. Let's see, how can I make this soil more fertile? Let me know. Oh gosh, look at this. Look at this huge guy. He kind of looks like the Giskis or Gizros, the, the guy we saw in the office. Somehow this vlog turned into a garden video, but that's fine. I have potted some of the strawberries in this bigger pot, like five plants. And I have some here left as well that I want to put in the ground when it's ready. But let me show you guys the grounds real quick because there are a couple of problems here. So first of all, the ground surrounding it is just soggy as hell, as you can hear. It's really soggy. This is where the grass mower gets stuck, the fucking hole. But second, this, this soil. I've checked under here a bit. And I mean, it's partly usable. Like, sure, it's kind of usable, by the way. Nice worm. But it's kind of usable, but it's just not fertile for sure. And, oh, well, yeah, it's not fertile. I think I, and sometimes there's like grass growing, but I think I'll, I don't know, what should I do actually? I don't know. Maybe I'll put something on top of here, but what? Like I don't have extra soil. Don't really have to. I could. I couldn't, I can't really do anything with it. That's the annoying part. I think I'm just gonna um, plow this, I guess. And then plant some things in there. So as this one. So I need to ask you some questions. How can, one, how can I make this soil more fertile, more nutrient dense so to say because there are practically no nutrients this this soil has never been nutritionized if that's a word and secondly what can i do to make this soil 
less fucking soggy. Also, as cheaply as possible, because that's a fun challenge, right? And I don't have that much money to spend, and I don't want to spend that much money on this car. So, yeah, that's that. Problem. I'm locked outside my office. And I can't go in this door, but not in the door of the real office. So, I lost my keys, but I think they're in the office. Anyway, Dijols is coming. There he is. My savior. My hero. Yes! <laughs> in a meeting right now. Meeting about the uh, market business. About the camping. Yeah. <laughs> so I just came back. I'm going back for my gym session. I had a gym session with um, two other guys. Visuals is on before. And uh, Levy, his name is. We had a good gym session, we hit chest. But I mean, going to the gym for just weight training, strength training, always feels a bit empty, man. It's not as tough, you know, as running or it's just going to the movements. I mean, this shit, I mean, I still do it because, oh, why do it? I guess I just want to stay big, I keep my muscles. I guess that's the reason, but it's not really what interests me. Although it is fun to see that pump, you know. came home I'm gonna cook something gonna eat something gonna read something and then I'm gonna go to bed meal for a day some leftover pumpkin mixed with whatever those greens are I got from my mom some garlic not garlic and some pasta Ooh. so yeah I'm gonna end the video here and I'll see you another time let's make the world a better place